excited. I know you've done horror before, and I I loved Unfriended, by the way. I've oh, seen thank it multiple you. Times. But I know you've done other things, and were you yeah. excited to continue in the genre with Consumed? Yeah, um, I think the most amazing thing about horror is the uh, the community that's around it, which I didn't know until I really got into it um, when I was a bit younger. I, I've you know kind of worked in horror my whole life. Um, and the second that I realized that there's this whole community surrounding it, and it's some of the kindest, funniest, amazing people, um, I think that's I think that can be surprising to some people that aren't aware of it. Um, it's a really it's a really cool community to get to to be adjacent to, I guess, as an actor. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, that's great. Yeah, and your wonderful performance as Beth, and you know, they were rooting for her, of course, the whole time, and. <laughs> Um, when, uh, when you first joined the project, you know, reading the scripts, learning about the story, um, were there certain parts of Beth's character elements that you found yourself relating to, um, based on your own personal life or anything like that? Yeah. I mean, there, there's definitely, a, she's a very sad character. I mean, she's, she's really been through quite a bit, maybe sad isn't the right word, but she's a character that is, you know, from the beginning, she's suffering. We're just not clear exactly you know how many different ways she's suffering and how many more ways she's gonna suffer throughout the film um for for me i think there's a, a real heart to the character and there's a real heart to the script too which can be rare in horror um right. to me the two aren't mutually exclusive um you know i think once people hear creature films sometimes they think it's just going to be one thing right. and i think the film really delivers in a couple different ways um that are unique yeah. um but yeah for for me there's um obviously she's someone who is uh who's gone through cancer and she's she's a, a survivor in a lot of ways um i don't think there's a person alive that hasn't been touched in some way by cancer or by illness so i think that was something that was very easy for me to 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 think about and to draw on from my own experiences um and my own uh you know personal like grief and loss and things like that of course well yeah and yeah the, there's i totally agree with all that lots of heart and yeah you're just so invested in her journey and yeah I think I don't. I think they're gonna. You don't have to be a horror creature fan to appreciate a movie like this. So yeah, I think other it, people to see it. Yeah, it's definitely unique in that respect. So yeah. glad to hear it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, you know, I grew up watching Devin Saw and you know '90s movies. I'm yeah. so happy he's still working. I was curious you if know. you before joining the project, if you were already familiar with his, you know, throwback classics and what he's oh. done recently and all that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you could be specifically my age and not know exactly who, I mean, heartthrob, like, uh, that was the first thing I thought of. So I think so often people are like, you know, the Final Destination movies. And for me, the age that I am, I immediately thought of like Now and Then or like oh, Casper, yeah. I was the exact right age for for both of those films when they came out um so i think you know as, as soon as i found out that he was cast i was obviously very excited because it's a completely different role than uh, you know i maybe grew up watching him in right. um that said he's an amazing actor like he's uh, so giving and so talented so you know they always say like don't don't meet your heroes or um in this case i would think like you know like don't meet your like childhood crush um and he's like an incredible person and he's just so talented it's obviously you know, not a not a heartthrob performance necessarily, but he is just so talented and such such a powerhouse in this film. Yeah, 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 he is. I think I owned. Did you ever see Wild America? Yes, and that was the first DVD which I was trying not to tell Devin this on set, and I don't know if I ever did because I was trying to like hold it together. That was the first DVD that I remember asking my parents to buy so that was the first dvd that was uniquely mine was wild america i loved that so this is like a wild america kid all grown up but in the woods still <laughs> exactly oh my gosh it's like full circle sort of yeah <laughs> truly yeah i think i i owned it but i think it was vhs I yeah I, I i was definitely trying to adapt to the new technology i think it was like dvds are this like new you know i oh, yeah. want it so bad <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was there too for sure um, but yeah, that's great. I mean, yeah, his performance is wonderful. Your chemistry. I mean, yeah, it's it's a gritty role, but I mean, you have plenty. There's there's some great moments between you two, and yeah, it's <laughs> it's very suspenseful, and yeah, it's just I could go all day about this movie. It's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I think those are some of my favorite scenes. Are the two of us really just getting to to sort of you know suss each other out as our characters and really just you know lock in with each other like that. I think as an actor, those are the parts that you hope for those like amazing meaty dialogue scenes and a scene partner that's willing to not only 
go as far as it's written on the page, but to take it a little further and to, to feel like it's a safe space to do that. Of course. Yeah. I was going to ask, like, were those, did you find those the most like challenging to prepare for versus like the creature, like right. you know, pop out scary moments? Yeah. I mean, this, this film, um, in another unique respect, it has a lot of practical elements to it, a lot of practical um, scares and effects and things like that. There's obviously, you know, some that aren't. Uh, so acting opposite those, I'm not, you know, acting with a tennis ball the whole time. There's plenty of times where it's just me in the woods and with a camera and, and hoping that I'm I'm selling the the horror in that case. Um, but the, the scenes with Devin in particular, uh, where we're really, you know, without getting too much away, really in conflict with each other, um, those are ones that I didn't feel like I could prepare for because um, Devin's one of those amazing actors that lives so much in the moment. So I knew that each take was going to be different and I just needed to see it to wherever it was going to go naturally. Um, and those are the more exciting ones, truly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. I, I, I totally agree with that. It seemed that way too. Very practical. Yeah. Like it didn't, you know, you can, you don't have to be a film expert these days to, you know, see oh, this is a lot of green screen, yes. and CGI and all that. It's very yeah. It's we we definitely were in the woods for, for yeah. a long time for this one. So it's, I'm glad that translates because it was oh, it, it was yeah. not comfortable sometimes. Yeah. It, well, yeah, definitely it definitely looked very authentic. So that that's great. Um do you uh is there something else you're working on uh that you're excited about? Something you just signed on for whether it's horror or maybe something completely different you're excited to you know what I'm exploring a, a real era of travel right now so uh, oh, I'm yeah. really enjoying that I think uh I'm jealous. mostly because it's summer so I'm waiting to see what winter holds for me but right now I'm just really enjoying the fact that it's it's summer and I don't have to be home the whole time um uh, I'm, I'm maybe not going to the woods as much as I would have normally done. I'm, I'm enjoying more more beach excursions at the moment and, and staying away from what is possibly making a little noise in the trees there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I um, yeah, I'm jealous. We have a baby at home, so I have not been doing any travel whatsoever. How old is baby? She's uh, well, I guess technically she's a toddler. She's 15 months. So. Oh, I feel like I've, I've my friend's kids are like seven. I'm like, how's the baby? I just never, I <laughs> still always think of them as being, oh, oh 15 yeah. months. Has she had the sleep regression? Um, she, she's had some, but she's definitely better now. We're fortunate. Okay. She's in a good place at the moment. Knock on wood, you know? <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, that's what I was just going to say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, uh, but yeah. Well, what do you, have you seen consumed in full the, the final product? I have, I've seen an earlier uh, version of it and then I've seen most of the new version. I think there are some uh, tricks up the sleeve that I maybe haven't seen yet. Um, so you're probably more up to date than I am, which is nice. Oh, yeah. I like to go into things a little bit like, um, I, there's there's a, and maybe this is just from how long I've been doing this. I always wanna see it with the audience in a lot of ways. Um, I think there's just something so cool about that being surrounded by someone else who's seen it for the first time. Obviously it's a lived experience for me, but it is yeah. so different the way that it translates on screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this seems like I think a lot of people are going to like it. And it's a, a cool, like, idea that the foundation, I feel like it could easily, you know, come up like a sequel. I would not be surprised <laughs> if that were in the car yeah. on the line. Would you be interested in signing on for something like that? Oh, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'd have to I'd have to cut my hair again. I think uh, I've only just grown it out since we we've shot that. But yeah, I mean, if we see what what Beth is up to in the woods, I would I wouldn't mind seeing you know how much stronger she's gotten since this. I mean, when we leave her at the end of the you know at one of the later stages of the film, she's really been through quite a bit, um, which I think you see visually. Um, but just knowing like what she's gone through as a character, yeah. If there's a sequel, let's go. Consumed part two. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You could call it like super consumed or something. Yeah, or reconsumed. <laughs> reconsumed. Or... There you go. Reconsumed. That's there we go. Genius. Marketing. Yeah. We got it. Yeah. You coined right, I'll pitch it. <laughs> if anyone else tries to take credit for it, I'm your witness and be like, okay, oh, came I'm here. registering it uh, right now with the Writers Guild. So we're good. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's great. But uh, until then, I mean, yes, congratulations again on Consumed. It was wonderful. And uh, yeah, I hope we can uh, connect for your next project. I would love that. Thank you so much, Will. And good luck with the baby. Oh, thank you. Yes. And <laughs> traveling. And it was very nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Bye.